this question right here having to do with a binomial distribution? Let's see, it says suppose that the probability that a passenger will miss a flight is 0 0.0995. Airlines do not like flights with empty seats, but it is also not desirable to have to overbook flights because passengers must be bumped from the flight. Suppose that an airplane has a seating capacity of 54 passengers. Okay, if 56 tickets are sold, what is the probability that 55 or 56 passengers show up for the flight resulting in an overbooked flight? Okay, notice here that there is how many, how many seats? There's 54 seats on the plane, okay? Now, someone will miss a flight with probability 0 0.0995. And okay, so there's 54 seats. There's about a 10% chance of missing a flight. So around 5.4 people will miss. So it's likely that somebody misses because there's a 10% chance. 10% of 54 is 5.4. So on average, about 5.4 people will miss their flight. So yeah, selling more tickets is a great idea. Let's see. Does it say that this question is binomial anywhere? It doesn't, but we can kind of assume it is because you're either going to take the flight or miss it. There's a constant probability. We can assume independent trials because there's only 56 tickets sold out of, what, the US? There's a lot, there's more than, there's millions of people in the US, so. That's less than 10% of the population. So this is binomial. There's, they either take the flight or they miss the flight. It's binomial. This is a binomial situation. Since it's binomial, we can solve this question pretty easily using the binomial probability. All right, let's go ahead and do that. Let me pull up Excel. All right, so some things you may want to note is that N equals to 50 and part A they're selling 56 tickets. So I'm gonna say N equals 56, P equals to, let's see, it's asking what's the probability that 55 or 56 passengers show up. So the probability that someone shows up is one minus 0 0.0995, which equals to 0 0.9005. So here we have an, a random variable X, which equals to the number of people to show up out of 56 so good to know now that's a binomial situation we have n and p now we're trying to find the probability of what of getting 55 or 56 so the probability that x the number of people that show up is greater than or equal to 55 basically so 55 or 56 show up if you sell 56 tickets so let's see let's plug that in on stack crunch so i'm going to go to stack crunch let's see if i have it here all right i'm going to open up stack crunch and i'm going to go to calculator binomial and i'm going to plug in n equals to 56 p point nine zero zero five I'm going to go greater than or equal to 55. And that's it. So the answer is equal to 0 0.0203. Now that, that was part A. Let's call that part A. For part B, what does it say? Well, let's put the answer in first. And let's plug in 0 0.02, four decimals, 0, 03. Okay, part B says the probability that a passenger will have have to be bumped. On part B, it says they try to trick us. They change the number of tickets sold there. So now we have N equals to 60. We have a different random variable with a different sample size. Same probability, this though, 0 0.9005. We got to realize that um, they're bumped. Uh, what, what's it say? What is the probability that a passenger? Okay, bumped basically occurs if x is what? Greater than or equal to 55, right? Because they have, well, let's, let's think about this. How many seats do they have again? They have 50, 
54 or seating capacity of 54 so yeah if there's 54 if there's 55 people or more then someone has to get bumped and that's important to realize on this question that x is greater than or equal to 55 is basically what it means to be bumped so that's what we need to find probability that x is greater than or equal to 55 equals 2 let's go back to stat crunch and plug this in all right stat calculator binomial 60 0 0.9005 x we want to be greater than or equal to 55 same thing again just different sample size so we get 0 0.4423 that's our answer all right 0.4423 now part c says for a plane with seating capacity 51, all right, how many tickets may be sold to keep the probability of a passenger being bumped below 5%? Very difficult question. So part C, N equals to, well, question mark. That's the thing, N equals to question mark in this case, but now we have 51 seats. Whereas in all the other questions, there was 54 seats only. Ah, less seats in this one. 54, 51 seats now. All right, we still have the same probability that somebody shows up, right? P still equals to 0 0.9005. That doesn't seem to have changed. But we're going to have to figure out what N is. Is N going to be 50, 52, 53, 54, 55? That's what I would think, right? That it would be a number bigger than 51. If they have 51 seats, well, if you sell 51 tickets, then no one's gonna be bumped. We're saying here that we want the probability of being bumped to be below 5%. So the number of tickets sold needs to be bigger than 51 if somebody's gonna be bumped. So basically on this one, you're gonna just plug in those numbers into, the, into StatCrunch to see when the probability will be less than 5%. Let's try it. Stack crunch. Close. Uh, I guess I could keep that one since I think I can keep this one since it has six. Oh, well, I gotta change the sample size now. Look, well, the sample size is the thing that's going to be varying here. We want to be 52, actually. We want n to be 52. The probability that x is greater than or equal to 52, but okay, so now let's think. This is very difficult here. N is going to change. That's the thing that's going to change. The question is asking how many tickets needs to be sold, right? If you look at the question, the largest number of tickets that can be sold while keeping the probability of a passenger being bumped below 5% is. So how many tickets need to be sold? That's the N. All right. Now, it's still referring to being bumped. So and that is why I'm leaving this X greater than or equal to 52. Why am I leaving that 52? Because that's what it means to be bumped. There's only 51 seats on the plane. So being bumped means that 52 or more people show up. That's what it means to be bumped in this case. <clears throat> Remember we talked about that over here. Remember bumped occurs if X is greater than or equal to 52. All right, so that has to be greater than or equal to 52. Now I'm gonna plug in 52. Okay, but we can sell more tickets though and keep the probability below 5%. If I change it to 53 tickets, well, that probability is still below 5%. See, so I, so let's move it up. And let's, so we want to sell as many tickets as possible to bring in as much revenue as possible. Change this to 54. Are not that's too many tickets because <clears throat> now the probability of bumping somebody is around 9%. So the answer is 53. I decrease this back down, 53, press enter. There it is. Now the probability is less than 5%. <clears throat> so that is the maximum amount of tickets that you can sell. Therefore, n equals 2, 53. The maximum amount of tickets you can sell while keeping the probability of someone being bumped 
below 5%? Tough question, but that that is a good explanation. You should sort of write down your explanation there in your own words. Make sure you understand what is happening in this question. So we're going to plug in 53 for the answer. And that's it. So I hope that helps.